Hey folks, it's me. This is Mike. Hi. Um. Well, there are really no excuses, actually. I. I'm here because I'm born. So whatever comes out now. I, I really, I have no idea um, what I'm going to be saying. <laughs> uh, okay, the glam glam girl thing, I think I should clarify that. That was a message to say that women need to be valued. Period. That was my main point. Uh, that women shouldn't feel like they have to get all dressed dressy. I actually got a comment on that from somebody who was male. And I don't know if he was being sarcastic or what, but he said like, Put on gold chains, man, and wear your pants back, and who cares? Does the peacock think about what other birds think? And it's like, what? That doesn't make... If you read the rest of his comment, you'll find that it makes absolutely no sense. It, it literally gets less and less sensical the longer it goes. Which, I would think that I do the same thing, but apparently when I end my conversations, they actually get to a point. Uh, so I guess you could consider that progressive. <laughs> um... Anyway, the point is, that video was for people to know that not all men are looking for the hot to trot, uh, skimpy clothed woman. Uh, as a matter of fact, I find it abhorrent that people would think that they have to be that way. I think that's a, that's a pretty wicked thing that women now have to deal with in society and I really disdain it I really do I I know somebody who's very close to me who has dealt with anorexia very serious struggle in her life that is not cool that is one of the worst things anyone can go through because it's not just physical it's in your head. It's not just something, and I'm, I am not cheapening anybody's experience at all. At all. I have respect for every possible point of suffering known to man. I have great respect for anybody that has to go through anything painful at all. What I'm saying is that when women are anorexic, it's because somebody got into their head and fed them the lie that there's nothing they can do to be beautiful. That is sick and twisted. That is unbelievably whack. So, I and I know it's hard to believe when you're in that situation, when you're anorexic, it's very hard to believe that you don't need to be anorexic. And I have had a conversation about this with someone whom I consider a good friend now and basically came to the conclusion, you know, it's hard to get women to believe that. But it's worth hoping for. So that's the clarification on the glam glam girl thing. Number one, it's not attractive. Number two, most important reason, most important. It's not healthy for women. Not healthy. I don't know what else to say that. That's that's more than my opinion. That's actually something that's that's quite serious. And if you don't agree with me on that, I hope hope that you do eventually because there's no way to convince you otherwise there's there's no way 
all you have to do is look at how many people buy OK Celebrity Magazine or People or Cosmo. Just, 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 you know, check out their subscribe list. It's huge. People have been given a warped sense of beauty by people who want their money. I'm serious. I'm serious. People have been given a warped sense of beauty by people who want people's money. Buy all this makeup. Buy all these clothes. Buy all these material goods. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. I am not materialistic. Case in point, you see this shirt? You see this shirt? I, you've probably noticed it's my favorite shirt and I wear it quite a lot. Why? I'm trying to make a point. I don't need 55 shirts. It's not important. How you look and keeping yourself up, that's fine. That's personal care. I'm not talking about personal care. I'm talking about personal deception. The idea that you are not beautiful, that you are not worthy, that you are not valuable. And I've said this in a number of other videos. Those conceptions are wicked. That's a bit strong, but it's not cool. You know it's not cool. You know it's not cool because either you feel bad when somebody thinks that you're not worthy or you don't care. Both of which are reactions to what's inside yourself saying, this isn't right. That opinion isn't right. You know it and I know it. Might be hard to admit. Might be hard to see how often we try to mask that up and play the game. But we shouldn't. Shouldn't play the game. My goodness, people. That's that's sad. It's so sad to see people play that game. Man. Well, I guess that's what's coming out. Um. You know, I have this song that I wrote a long time ago, years ago, years ago, like literally at least four years ago. And it's one of my favorite songs that I've written. I wouldn't put it on a list of favorites for anybody else necessarily. And I wouldn't put it on top quality with all of my other favorite songs. But it's the favorite song of mine that I've written because it deals with this issue. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna play it at the end of this, I think. It's a, it's a four minute song, four and a half minutes. All you have to do is listen to it. Just listen to it. I'll, I'll post the lyrics. Actually, I'll put the lyrics in the description, kind of like what uh, Lazy Dork does. I will post the lyrics in the video description so that you can read it. This was based on my encounter at a local park here in Goleta. I was sitting on a bench, looking at the oceans, taking out my guitar and, you know, my Bible. And I was just sitting out there and someone, this woman, listening to me play, it's not uncommon, came around and said, can I sit at your bench? Can I sit and listen to you play? And I said, sure, yeah, that's, that's awesome. I would love that. I would love to be a benefit to you. And uh, we had a conversation after I finished playing a little bit. And, well, you'll hear it. You'll hear it in the song because the whole, the whole thing is addressed to her. I don't know who she is. I don't know where she came from. 
She was probably at the university because the, the beach park was right next to UCSB. I never saw her again, but she's too common. Her situation is too common, and I didn't like it. So listen to the song. Please listen to the song. Uh, you know, and 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 try to encourage someone around you, because you never know if they're dealing with this or not. We've all got to face it. We've all got to face it. And we've all got to stand up and say, no, that's not right. We have value. Regardless of what other people think, we have value. So, I hope you enjoyed the song. I hope you enjoyed the song. Sorry, this wasn't the most rousing conversation. Usually I'm a little bit more jovial. But I'm bored. So, and I'm not, I'm a creative guy. I'm not a dark guy. I'm a creative guy. So, this is what I can give you. Have fun. Take a listen. Thanks. Dick.